this next project, we're going to be making a corner wall section. This is exactly how walls are framed inside any residential structure, except for the fact that we're just using 36 inch studs versus a full eight foot stud. Um, so why are we learning this? We're going to learn how to lay out studs in a wall. Having a stud every 16 inches on center is critical to building anything uh, out there right now. And so uh, marking your 16 inch centers and then lining up those studs is gonna be the key skill that we're gonna pull out of this project. In order to complete this project, um, go to your material pile and pull out two 48 inch pieces. You'll need one 44 and a half. You'll need all eight of the 36 inch pieces. You'll need one uh, 24 inch piece and then two 20 and a half inch pieces. So I have those pulled out and set aside and we can get started. For the first step of this project, we're gonna do the long wall. You're gonna to want to refer to drawing two in your plans of this. You wanna lay it out on the ground and you're gonna start by marking out your 16 inch centers on your top and bottom plate of the wall. Uh, if you mark the 16 inches and then you're gonna mark a second mark off to the side three quarters of an inch. Um, and then that, th that three quarters of an inch off to the side is gonna be where the edge of the stud lines up. And your 16 inch mark is gonna be the center of the stud. And so if that 16 inch mark, you make that into an X, and then you have your vertical line for the edge of your two by four. Um, note that in your plans here, one stud is turned flat and you can lay that flat on the ground. That is uh, for uh, later on in the project when you would be framing a corner and that would give you something if we were to drywall this project, something to screw the drywall into. So go ahead and get started. So you, you mark the 16th, so then you have to mark three quarters of an inch one way or the other. It doesn't matter. Uh, marker's choice on this one. Now, now use your square. Draw a line. Yep. Where are your markers? The line you just drew here is where the edge of the board is going to be. So then put an X over where the center is going to be. So when you're lining up your studs, you're lining up the edge, and you know that it will be over top of that X. Make sense? So then same here. Right? Three quarters of an inch off to the side, mark the center, you still go. Check one thing here. These studs are cut by volunteers. So you'll notice that there may be some variances in the lengths of the wood. So before you start laying your studs out in here, in order to account for that, you want to pick your two tallest studs and have these be your outer ones.
looking at this one on the plan in the top left side of the plan. You get a nice three dimensional view of how it looks. So just make sure uh, you're keeping that in mind because it could be left, right, back up on the bottom or up at the top. If this is the bottom, it looks like you got it right. So just want to always got to check your perspective and make sure you build it to build it to the plan. Okay. Oh, no, you just, it's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up.